Hello, hello everyone. Welcome today to Crafting with Pui Designs. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, please subscribe. If you are a subscriber, uh, you are welcome again. Welcome so much. In this video right here, I'm going to show you how to like upscale your um, AI image in Silhouette Studio or any image that you have in Silhouette Studio. Uh, and I'm working in Silhouette Studio Business Edition because in this version of the software, you are able to save your file as a PNG file. So in PNG format. So let's do that. Okay. I'm, I'm going to bring in an image. Go to file. Open. I have a small image. Yeah. I'm going to bring in this image right here. You see, it's a small image. Selected. It's right here. You don't you don't see anything or uh, any alert about uh, the resolution because it's a good file in this size. Okay. And now I'm going to lock it right here. Let's say I want this file to be um, 12 by 12 because it's like the ratio is already one by one. Okay, so I'm going to put in here 12. I lock it first and I put in there 12. And I hit enter. Oh, uh, and you now I see this. Low resolution. This design may print in a low resolution causing graininess, graininess and pixelation in the printed artwork. For a higher resolution print, you will need to make the image smaller. I don't want to make it smaller. I want to make it big as it is. I'll keep it like this. And I'll show you what we're going to do to fix the resolution. Okay. It's also called a DPI. I'm going to send it to the center of the page. Okay. I have it here. I'm going to save it. File. Save as. I'm going to save it into my computer. So I'm, I'll choose the hard drive. And then... Here we are. I'll, I'll name it like Monica. I'll just name her Monica, and she has, she's with a cheetah, Monica Cheetah. And for type, I'll choose PNG. Like I said, I'm working in Silhouette Studio Business Edition. PNG, and I'll click OK, and then this box will pop up. You see the size and everything of of the page. And then dot per inch DPI. This is where we change the resolution. It's 150. I'm going to change it to 300. And 300 will be perfect for printing if I want to print it. Also, if I want to sell it. I'm going to erase this and I'll put 300 DPI. Don't worry about transparent background because it doesn't have a background at all. Save. Okay, we have Safe Monica. Right here, the name is zero underscore zero. Like a small face. That's, that's, that's the name of this file. But we named it when we saved it. We named it Monica Cheetah. So let's go and find Monica Cheetah in my files. And we're going to open it. Open. Oh, here she is. Monica Cheetah. You see here, 3600 by 3600. is is the big file i'm going to select it and it will open look at the name this name is zero zero right here a small face <laughs> right now we're waiting for monica cheetah okay monica cheetah is here you see the box is not here anymore it doesn't give us alert it doesn't alert us about the resolution because it's uh, it has the right resolution it is 300 when we come here to the tiny face thingy here, you see it right here, low resolution. Because we took the small image and we make it bigger, we blow it up, but the DPI didn't change. Here it tells us to make it the image smaller. Okay, but here we saved it on a 300 DPI resolution. It doesn't say that, it doesn't say anything. It doesn't alert us about uh, low resolution. And, so the, the 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 image is very good. Okay, let's do one more thing. I'm going to lock it back here. And now I'm going to put in here 
let's say um 24 24 enter and here there you have it again there you have it again the re resolution the dpi is low again okay so um when we keep it on at the 12 we had it where we saved it so you see the box is gone so here at silver studio you can edit your images um save um your image on a higher resolution than 150 or lower you can save it on 300 dpi and one more thing let me throw this in it really quick you can also edit the the color of the image a color like the how can i say you can edit it to make it nicer you keep it selected and you go here to your panels and you count them one two three four five I think six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, you open it and you choose the sun, <laughs> the third one, contrast, brightness, and saturation. You keep it selected, like I said, and then you will work on it. The brightness, maybe you want the image to be a little bit brighter. No, let's let's do this. I'm going to duplicate it so that you can see the difference of the two images. Maybe you don't want. Maybe you don't want to uh, change the effects on your image, but uh, might you have one day? Might you have a, a, a image that you want to um, clear up? I'll show you the way how to do it. Okay, I'll select this one and I'll work on this one. A little bit brighter. Okay, the contrast. I want the contrast to show more, and then the saturation. Oh yeah, vibrant color. Okay, and I'll, and I'll apply uh, apply the changes to it. Yep, the change. Okay, look at the difference of these two. Okay, what are you doing? You see the difference? Look at the difference. Look at that. This one is brighter than this one. You see that? Her face, her cheeks, her eyes. Look at her hair. You see this part start shining here. Look at it. Her shoes are more um, vibrant. The colors. Look at it. So you can do so many things in Silhouette Studio, and this is one of them too. Uh, I show you how to change the resolution of your image in Silhouette Studio, but you need to use the Business Edition, okay? And I showed you also how to. Um, yeah, I also showed you how to edit your image, how to make the color brighter and everything. Okay, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and to leave me a comment if this helped you. Thank you so, so much. Bye.